Hello there, I'm Emma Harden from Top Dog Turf, the artificial grass designed just for dogs and today I'm going to have a quick chat with you about the different backing of artificial grass. Now if you're a dog owner and you've been searching the interweb for advice and information on what is the best grass for your dog and you're thinking well I know there's a potential odour problem from dog wee so how can we get the best grass to avoid that and you've probably seen some of the argument about latex back grass opposed to polyurethane back grass now if you've had um, people come and do quotes or you've got samples sent from various companies you're going to have seen that the samples they've sent you have this black rubbery backing now this is a latex back grass so you've got your drainage holes for the water to come through but you can see that it's very obvious a rubber back product now there is the argument that latex so this rubber back product absorbs dog urine so as it ages um, rubber by its nature actually rubber cracks and flakes as it ages so if you imagine your car tires say you've got a, a caravan and it's parked up sort of six months of the year even though it's had no mileage it's been nowhere its tires start to sort of crack and degrade and you have to chuck them in the bin and go and fit new tires before you go off to the seaside with the kids or if you're a parent and you've ever used the latex infant bottle teats and you've left them in water for a few days you'll see that they start to go white and a little bit flaky and you think oh they look a bit dodgy and you chuck them in the bin well that's basically what latex rubber does as it ages it goes a bit white a bit flaky and it starts to crack so the argument is that with a whole backing on your artificial grass made of this latex rubber that over time it's going to crack and flake and uh, naughty little uric acid crystals which are the things that create the smell from urine odour are going to creep in there and sit there very happily stinking away so the um, new grasses on the market have a polyurethane backing so you'll see with the polyurethane backing that um, it's clear it's shiny and it's a lot thinner than the latex back grass so it kind of does nothing it just sits like it is uh, it'll sit there for years and years it is actually fundamentally stronger than latex because it is a polyurethane um, the only thing polyurethane really does is it discolors slightly in sunshine if, if um, it hasn't got specific UV stabilizers in so as it's kind of underneath the grass it's not really much of a problem so we actually now because we do believe that latex back grass does hold the urine odor we have my label up the right way we now just stock and sell and install later um, polyurethane back grasses confusing myself there so also you know not all latex is created equal so you'll find cheaper grasses with a cheaper latex are going to be more of a problem more quickly there are some really great latex back grasses on the market I always think if you're paying around 30 pounds a square meter you're likely to have a really nice quality latex if you don't have dogs it really isn't a problem a latex grass is generally slightly cheaper than a polyurethane because um, the manufacturing process for PU as we call them back grasses is more expensive so if you haven't got dogs who cares a latex back grass is going to be absolutely super for you not a problem but it's definitely worth considering a polyurethane back grass if you are a dog owner so this is one of our grasses this is our champion PU really beautiful super soft grass with the PU backing see there it is there and this is actually the canine turf so you've probably seen this quite a lot on the interweb as you've been looking around uh, this is an American grass and it is a polyurethane back but it looks quite different from our standard grasses there it's an open weave it doesn't have the drainage holes because the whole grass drains through an open weave matting so it's entirely up to you whether you decide as a dog owner whether you're going to have a more traditional latex back grass 
or whether you're going to be looking for a PU, a polyurethane back grass. Um, there are pro, pros and cons, as I say, the latex is often more, slightly more cost effective, but if you are looking to stay in a property long term, I personally believe that you will have slightly more urine odour problem with latex than PU. Having said all that though, a lot of the urine odour comes down to your maintenance and how well you're looking after your grass because whether it's latex, whether it's PU or whether your dog is peeing in a completely sterile operating theatre on a totally sterile floor, if you don't clean it up and you don't look after it, it's going to stink after a little while. So whatever grass you have, remember that you're going to have to maintain it, you're going to have to look after it, you're going to have to use an enzyme cleaner that will eat away at the uric acid crystals but it's our belief at Top Dog Turf that if you have a PU back grass the likelihood of uric acid crystals getting into the backing and sitting there stinking away for years to come where you can't get at the buggers because they're hidden inside the rubber you're going to have less of a, an odour problem with the PU grass added to the fact that it's lovely it's very tactile and gorgeous to stand on so I hope that helps um, any questions any issues just send us an email info at top dog turf or click on the links and you'll find all the different ways to contact us we love talking about grass we love 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 talking about dog wee and how to prevent it and so we'd love to hear from you over and out